Hello everybody, my name is Bro1 and welcome to Broken Age. I'm pumped because I didn't get to play this game when it first came out. And I got it when Act 2 finally came out. Well, the reason I didn't play it when it first came out because I wanted to wait it uh, I wanted to <laughs> wait till both acts of the game or yeah, were out. And now that they're finally out, I can play both of them. So I'm gonna start in order. I'm gonna go ahead and do Shay's story first. Cause this is Shay, right? Hey, rise and shine, son. That's Nick right Offerman right there. I'm almost off duty. Mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Mm, I do. Actually, I don't. Here she comes. Yep, this is Have Shay. Hey, Ryan. Oh gosh. Computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little space man this morning. I hope no bad tinkleberries came and wet your bed during the night. Oh my god. Computer, snooze. Computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Are they important? Yeah, now, Mr. Manor, I'll turn on the new sound. Okay, you asked for it. Oh, do I have to get up myself? I thought I would just wake up automatically. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little boy. Oh gosh. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Well, that's interesting. Alright, so, we're at the breakfast, I assume? No. Oh, do I get to choose my cereal? Yikes. Oh. No way. I'm never eating that. Cinnamons? No. I think I'd rather eat a bug. No. Because they're holograms. You can't eat holograms. Okay, that sounds disgusting. Yuck. No, I hate that. Soylent dreams. Soy? Uh, in real life, I actually am allergic to soy, so no. no. Not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. That sounds. So I'm eating space. Man, that sounds horrible. How are they crispy? Bran blasters. That takes the bran out of the bran. Yeah, take that away. Because you're blasting so the bran. That toucan looks weird. That's totally Fruit Loops right there. That's the Fruit Loops of Broken Age. Please don't take this personally, but no thanks. Hopefully nutrient paste? Nutrient paste. No. Are you kidding? Gross. You did lunch. Mm, you. No. Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? Well, it's slime, so that just makes it soup. I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Slime? Splarg. You know, Splarg, that sounds, that actually sounds pretty good. Really? Splarg? Is it my birthday or something? Yay, Splarg! That's our spoon, I assume. And, oh, you spilt all over the floor. Wait a minute. Listen to that spoon. Oh my god, that's Keith David. They got Keith David as your spoon. Oh my god. They have Keith David as your spoon. Uh, that's great, but Keith David is a spoon. Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? Not really. No. Not bad. Want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? No, I'm okay. Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me captain, computer. Okay, captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. 
crazy. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. It looks like ice cream. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. Is that real? We also or? received a mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. Then that's the not attack. real if it's Friendship Circle. Uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors Ooh. are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. Then that seems pretty Wait, important. We, uh, Captain? Well, we can't go anywhere with the freaking entity on the back, so we gotta get rid of it. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, we don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Safety suit? Well, you need safety out in space, otherwise your eyes will pop out of your head. I had to grab a drink. I got my... Coca-Cola inside a camelback. Not like a camel's back, but like a, a you know, like the, the brand of water bottles. Not water bottles, but like, you know, like, you know what I mean, right? I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Like, one of those, <laughs> never mind. Uh, yeah, it looks to be like it's over there. Oh my god, the foreign body is a penis. It's a penis with a pair of testicles. We need to get rid of that. We need to get that off the ship. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Uh, yeah, you, you'd be correct in saying that. Get off of me! Get off! Oh, I'm going to die. It's a present. Maybe it is my birthday. Special nutrition paste for you today. Space meat in a blanket. Ew. Space meat in a blanket. Who would... Why would you put it in a blanket? Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? Sure. Avalanche, I know. A runaway train, I know. A spaceship under attack. I know. And a mysterious object on the hull. Well, we already took care of that. So we need to help the avalanche victims. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you would help them soon. Starting a course for Planet Galactica. Planet Ice... Planet Ice Creamica? Oh, yep. Ice cream. Because you this is the in ice cream. It's worse than it looks. Really? How? It's the ice cream You guys are excited about that. That's not worse. It's, it's amazing. Can't you just eat your way out? Let's investigate before we help these losers. Ooh, there's a door. Let's open the door. I discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore it. Oh, I don't think I should ignore that. We'll come back to that later. What's this? Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? Eat your way out. It's ice cream. You live on an ice cream planet. You are used to this by now. Can we open our present? What is a Grab and Gary? Whatever it is, it sounds awful. We have to eat it? I think we have to eat it. Good eater. It's ice cream. That's unhealthy. Especially that much. That's a lot of freaking ice cream. Why wouldn't you just eat where they are? Why would you eat the whole thing? That'll make you like 500 pounds. Leftovers medley. Leftovers medley. It sounds like the worst dinner pill I've ever heard of. And what is a dinner pill exactly? I mean, I know it's a pill where you take your dinner, but still, why in a pill? Let's catch that runaway what if you mistake train. it for like sleeping pills and you give them so many pills because they love the food so much and then all of a sudden they just die because they eat sleeping pills not dinner pills oh this doesn't sound threatening this is a really small train why can't he help look at that honeycomb man why can't he help us
So you knew there was a bridge man, so why would you be scared before you knew about the bridge man? We could wake up the bridge man. Wake up the bridge man! Wake up, bridge man! We woke him up. Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? That's not right. Wake up, bridge man! Alright, let's see if we can kill him. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> do I die or am I supposed to do that? <laughs> this is fun! Oh, are we gonna die? <laughs> that was fun. Oh, who's that man? It's a fox, I think. Having fun? No. Huh? Who are you? When you tire a child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. Uh -huh. Tell no one. Do you understand? I think okay. I am tired of child's play. Good. No one. No one. Wait! What? Okay, what next? No discussion about it, young man. Oh. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. We landed in cushions. No, it can't. All missions are canceled. Wait, really? I love you. I don't love you, computer. Because you're a computer. Computers can't love. Unless you're chappy. If you were a chappy, I would love you that much more. Oof, ignoring them means we can do other things now? Can we wake up? Weird. No missions. I can do whatever? That sounds exciting. So why don't we do whatever? Alright, let's go over here. Uh, what is this? It's a tank of compressed air. Huh. It could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, oh. Right. We have those. Oh, so wait, is this like a screwdriver or something, or is it like a key? It seems more like a screwdriver because, like, maybe we could put it on the vents and then. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, the air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Yeah, let's try that. Here, can we do it? Yeah, we can. Nice. Oh, that's gonna make some noise. Hmm. What is that? Is that a What's butt? This? It's a butt. It looks like an inflatable raft. Oh, can we inflate it? I can't make enough pressure to blow it up myself. Oh, but the air tank can, so let's combine these two. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow-up doll. Of Shay. Me. Creepy. Alright, well, then what do we do with the blow-up doll? I'm going to call him Little Lazy Me. What do we do with the blow-up doll? Oh, we put him in the bed so that it makes it seem like we're there. Oh, that's... that's cool. Put it in there. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. You call it the warden? So now we can go down the vent. Okay, that makes sense. What's in the vent? Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Uh, you're Since stupid, I computer. You know. You're stupid. Man, computers are stupid. Yes, they are. They need your help to guide or you to they need you to guide them through everything, which makes them stupid. And probably mentally handicapped, which is actually kind of oh. sad. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? Because you're you stupid. Came. Because you are done with children's games. Yes. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and Marek. what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. 
war? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who does it even matter? There will always be war. Yes, we did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. Looks like Adventure Time. The creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But yes, we, we have to save them. Yes. I'm gonna get some ruffles. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Alright, it was back quicker than I expected. To help these creatures, you need to put yourself at risk in a way would never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cop, we don't have much time. Alright, then let's go. I'm probably gonna have to end this soon. Ah, the young master is found playing with his space camera. Where shall we go today, Watson? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Alright. So do we go in the star chart? Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? Ooh, that's cool. Four. Three, two, one, blast off. That was cool. <laughs> She's got to see Shay, he was so surprised. Alright, well. Let's go then. Do we talk to him now? We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cop. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. This is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Oh, this then is cool. This to engage the Got him. I got it. Great work, Jay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo room. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cop. Now hmm. we must save more quickly before the captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Oh, there he is. Careful. Wait for it. Now. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? 
Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! Bye-bye. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up for Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Let's go. Give me the star chart. Alright guys, I'm feeling it. This game is fun. Uh... So, I will have to pause here and continue another time, but this game is definitely worth finishing. I'm going to be finishing this walkthrough. I'll probably record... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record Act 1, all of Act 1, and then I'm going to upload it. In, um, and then I'm going to take a break and do another walkthrough for a while. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys at the, when I finish the walkthrough of Act 1. But then when I'm finished with the walkthrough after, or that walkthrough after the walkthrough of Act 1, I'm going to be playing Act 2. Or if you guys just want to see me play Act 1 and then Act 2 in the same series, then that's fine. But I, I figured it would be better just to take breaks. So, I guess I'll see you guys later then. Bye-bye.